Hi, welcome. I'm Frank, who went 7 Radio United, and I invite you into my home shack. As you see, I'm a proud owner of the Yezu Fox Tango 2000, and the 1st of January we got a great present uh, from the Yezu company. We got a new firmware. So a few days after the release, we found some messages on uh, news groups and the Yahoo reflector of the Fox Tango 2000 that we had a huge power drop with the new uh, firmware release. Well, I'm about to show you that the power drop is not the real power drop. The power meter shows only the average power and not the peak power. I invite you to discover this with me. About the setup. Here we have the Fox Tango 2000. The antenna output is connected with the Pulsar tuner. It's directly connected with a bird balloon. So it's a 50 ohm balloon for a current reading of our power output. Before we continue, I show you how you can check the current firmware version of your radio. It's quite easy. You have to press these three buttons, general coverage, 50 and enter and press the on-off button of the ESO. Here you can see several numbers. You have 11.29, that's the EDSP version, that's the latest version, and you also saw the 1.42, and that's the latest firmware version of the Yezu Fox Tango 2000. I first put it on CW, I press the key, and there you see the 100 watts on the Yezu transceiver, we also found the 100 watts on the Pulsar tuner. Okay. Now I switch over to a LSB and I call CQ. Uh, QRZ, this is Oscar, November 7 Radio United, ON7 Radio United. Uh, CQ80, Oscar, November 7 Radio United. Now I will call CQ again and uh, watch the pulse star meter which uh, is reading the peak watts. Uh, CQ80, CQ80, this is Oscar November 7 Radio United. Oscar November 7 Radio United. Uh, CQ80, CQ80, Oscar November 7 Radio United, QRZ. Well, as you see, that's, what, that's absolutely 100 watts output 